Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Enjoy your boy Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on two top stars in this boxing game. Mikey Garcia, um, a four-division world champion, future Hall of Famer, one hell of a fighter. And then we got Earl the True Spence Jr. We all know the top welterweight in the world, um, the WBC and the IBF unified world champ. And Mikey, you know, they, they both shared the ring with each other. And Mikey is coming out saying, you know, he want a rematch against Earl. Um, he is expressing um, what happened in the fight, talking on um, hot boxing with Mike Tyson. And he feel like if he get another opportunity, he can do well. Y'all listen to what Mikey had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment, family. And, and I would do it again. I, 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 would, I would jump in there again. I've been, I've been feeling better because yeah. I've been carrying the weight more, yeah. uh, uh, better now. So I think I would do better. The, 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 the size... The you know advantage that he has, you know he is he is taller and, and a bigger man naturally, but I can use defense, I can use speed, I, I can do other things. Unfortunately, that night I was not able to really put it together. I I made some mistakes probably. Now looking back, I probably made some mistakes. I rehydrated a little too much on fight night. I was a little too heavy, slow. I got tired. I felt sluggish, you know. So I wouldn't do that again. When I fought Jesse Vargas this last year. I didn't do that. I, I fought at a more comfortable weight hey, listen to your where weight. I could be, you know. Listen to your body. Yeah, just comfortable speed, quickness, you Jesse know. Fogg is a and that's what I did. Guy. I fought yeah. a lot better. He's a tough up and Tough guy, guy, tough guy. He, he's a big dude. He's tough. But we fought him a little differently, you know. I, like I said, I, you listen to my body. You know, I fought more comfortable. I didn't rehydrate too much. You know, when I fought Arrow, we did, you know, uh, we thought, you know, we should gain more weight so we don't have so much such a huge disadvantage. Yeah. But I mean, he fought great. He fought a great fight. He's a terrific fighter. He has great timing, great footwork. You know, he can manage the distance and everything. I would, I would love to get, you know, one or two good wins, yeah. and and try to challenge him again. But well, I see, Mikey, you know, he felt like he did some things wrong, but he did get Earl's just do gave him his credit, and we all know that's what it was gonna be. Earl, great footwork. Great distance, great timing, and you know what I mean? And that's what I say all the time. Earl Spence is a master at range and distance, bro. The range and distance is crazy. But in the fight, you know what I mean? Earl just proved his dominance, and, you know, he was just a better man. He was just a better man all around. You know, Mikey thought he saw something in the ring, which is nothing wrong with trying to be great, daring to be great, going up, facing ESJ, the number one welterweight, especially after you took out, you know, Agent Brown and Robert Easton. You know, Mikey was feeling himself. He was feeling himself. And he went up to 147, trying to become a five division world champion. And I don't, I ain't like, I'm not pissed off at him or mad at him for going in there and trying to do what he felt like he can do. You know what I mean? It takes a special person to go up and, and get out your comfort zone. You feel me? Mikey got out of his comfort zone. He didn't make no excuses. You feel me? Went up in there just tried to be Earl, and it, it, didn't, it didn't go his way that night. It didn't go his way that night. But like you say, some things he'll do different is not try to put on so much weight to try to match somebody else, you know, muscle mass and things like that. But just be you, man. Try to use your strengths inside the ring. Go in and they always say speed kills, you know what I mean? Speed do kill. So if Mikey was a little fast, he probably could have had more success. But it is what it is. What do y'all think? Like, I don't know about um, him beating Earl, but him feel like if he can get one or two more fights in at the welterweight division, like he felt like he grown into the to the division the right way. He felt like he could put on a better performance. And, you know, with Mikey being a warrior and being somebody that's not afraid to take challenges, right? I, I can I can respect it. I can respect it. Now with Earl, we all know Earl is on a mission. We know that he wanna become undisputed. We all know they got many Pacquiao coming up. The same many Pacquiao that was in talks with Mikey Garcia, the same many Pacquiao that was in talks with Terrence Bill Crawford. You feel me? Brian Garcia and Conor McGregor, so on and so on. You know? And now Earl got to worry about that. You know what I mean? That's the number one goal at hand right now. We know that's the biggest fight of his career. Um, it's a dangerous fight, even though many of his 42 years of age. You can't sleep on many Pacquiao. You got to go in there ready. Um, expecting the best many Pacquiao that you can expect in the ring. Don't fall into that age shit because once you start doing that, you end up like Keith Thurman. You'll overlook him. 
And that's what Keith Thurman did. He overlooked him. But yes, Jazz not going to overlook him. He said, go on there. Don't leave no stone unturned. Working his ass off. Back with Blu-ray. Understand, you got to get the power up. Um, train, train, train to the best of your ability. Um, and, and go on there and do what you got to do, man. Go on there August 21st and do what you got to do. You know, and after that, who knows, man? Who knows? Um, turns well Crawford not looking like he want to fight. We'll see what he talking about after Earl face Manny Pacquiao. And if he's victorious, the buzz will be around Earl Spence. We'll see if he want to miss out on that payday and that big-ass platform, that stage of fighting and, and becoming undisputed, especially um, just to go on there and see if you can beat Earl Spence after, you know, he defeated Manny Pacquiao that you were supposed to face, right? So that'll put you on a different plateau. You know what I mean? But with Mikey Garcia... Will Earl give him an uh, opportunity? I don't think it's possible because Earl already said, you know, you got one or two fights left, then he's going up to 154. But like I say, it's the boxing game, bro. You never know. You never know. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I think the fans would probably be pissed off if Earl was to fight Mikey again. They already saying, oh, little Mikey, little Mikey, he couldn't knock out little Mikey, things like that. So they, not, they didn't give him credit in, in, in the first fight. And Mikey is a four-division world champion, four-division world champion, was undefeated, Coming up, right, on, on everybody pound for pound list, just beat Robert Easter Jr. after defeating um, Sergey Lippernicks for a 140-pound world title, beating Adrian Bronner. Like, Mikey is very experienced, bro. He is very experienced, and he's a hell of a fighter. No, look, he just beat Jesse Vargas, bro. Like, any, you can't put anybody in the ring and think they're going to beat Mikey Garcia. You can't put any welterweight in the ring and think they're going to beat Mikey Garcia. And I think Mikey is growing into the weight, and I think he is going to be better. Like, a lot of people think Mikey slowed down because he lost to Earl Spence. No, man. Y'all got to get that shit out your head. People are, well, Mikey ain't the same Mikey no more. He ain't. How? When he just beat Jesse Vargas. Oh, well, he didn't look the same against Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas, okay, you're going to get hit in a fight. Mikey fought the man. You're going to get hit in a fight. But he went out there, dropped Jesse Vargas, and was victorious. And he's standing at 147. He's standing at 147. He almost had a mini Pacquiao fight, but the money went right. And a lot of people might not agree with me, but Mikey Garcia is still on my pound for pound list. He's still on my pound for pound list because you lost one fight at 47, and you won one fight at 47. So you won and won at the division. You won and won. You know what I mean? That don't discourage me or, or take away his abilities or what he's able to do. Lomachenko is still on my pound for pound list. He lost to Tefimo, right? But he feel take on Nakatani. He's still fighting the best of the best. But with Mikey Garcia done to be great, I'm not pissed off at that man. I'm not pissed off because I can see Mikey winning um, some fights at the welterweight division against other top fighters. If he go in and beat Mikey Garcia. You know what I mean? It's fights out there, you just got to pick the right fights. Like this is fit division, bro. This is fit division. That's, that's bossy-ass shit. That's daring to be great. That's to be respected, whether you like the man or not. Whether you like him or not, it's to be respected, bro. He in his fifth division, most motherfuckers don't even get out of three divisions. Mikey in his fifth. So you got to respect that. Some don't even get out of one division. Triple G never moved up and fought nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He never moved up and fought nobody. But Mikey in his fifth, that's to be respected, bro. That's to be respected. And um, with the mindset that he has, could he have more success against Earl Spence in a rematch? I believe he will. Just me. I don't need nobody else's opinion. What I see. You know what I'm saying? I believe he will have more success. I don't think he'll win a fight. Don't get me wrong. I think Earl still will dominate. But I think Mikey will have more success in a fight because he went in there. He knew where he went wrong. You know what I mean? He knew where he went wrong. And those look bitty small things, those little small details can play a big part inside the ring. It really can. The speed, you can pull the trigger quicker. You know what I mean? Not putting on so much weight, you give yourself more stamina. He went the whole 12, but you give yourself more stamina to where you might can endure more. You know what I mean? But, you know, when you overthink things, things like that happen, bro. Things like that happen. So when I'm looking at Mikey, man, and he's and he talking about the Earl Spence fight, I don't see no, um, no ill will. I don't see no malice. I don't see no... Um, I'm bitter that I lost or none of that. He kept a trio. He just spoke what he felt. You know, probably right afterwards, you probably would have got something. But after you move on, you get a win under your belt, you're right back in the win column. You can be real with yourself and sit down and, and you know, look at the fight and dissect the fight and really say, you know what, that's what I did wrong. That's what I did wrong. You can really 
look at it and, and take all the emotions and feelings out of it and come back better. You know what I mean? Now, is Earl getting better? Yes. After Mikey, he faced Sean Porter, Danny Garcia. So those are big dogs. Now he ain't about to face many Pacquiao. So the little tweaks that you might fix and that you think that was, you know, the problem, Earl Spence might make those, those adjustments from getting experience from fight three other top welterweights, you know what I'm saying? Top five welterweights at that. You know what I mean? The experience that he get from that, and it might shut down what you think that you did. But nonetheless, you're a man enough to get back in there. And I believe Mike when he say, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. You know what I'm saying? Mikey, like I said, I always liked the Mikey. I always liked his heart, bro. I always liked his fighting style. I always been a fan of Mikey Garcia. You know what I'm saying? I always been a fan since the Cowboy Hats. And if y'all a, a, a boxing fan or y'all follow this game, y'all understand what I'm talking about. Mikey with the Cowboy hat and the mustache. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I'm not going to knock him. I'm not going to knock him. I'm not going to be pissed off at him. If he's going out to Earl Spence for a rematch, that's what you're supposed to do. When you're in division and you fall somebody and, and, and you feel like you can do better the next time and you feel like you can work your way back up that ladder to get to that position, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what's getting knocked down and getting back up. That's the epitome of that. If you get knocked down, you get back up and you try again. You feel me? Now, would he get Earl Spence? Like I say, I highly doubt it. But at the end of the day, you got fights at 147 that you can redeem yourself off of and big-time fights start for Mikey Garcia to still make his legacy and become a five-division world champion and be just as credible as if he would have beat Earl Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to him, man. Shouts out to him. I don't knock the man at all. Like I say, I don't think he'll defeat Earl Spence. I think it, Earl will still get his hand raised. Earl might stop him next time, but Mikey might have a little bit more success because he's going to go in there. He's going to take more chances because he don't want this fight to look like the last fight. You feel me? So we'll just see how this play out, man. Mikey was still, still at 147 pounds. He's training. He got the weight down. Uh, we'll see who the next opponent is. And I wish him the best. ESJ, Manny Pacquiao, August 21st. Let's do what we got to do to get that WBA super title and then go out to Undisputed. If not, we'll see you at 154, champ. Until then, this your boy Monty. This is the ANSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. TreyHop to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how I get down, man. Big dog status, family.